Shut the fuck up, Steven. <laughs> oh, so sorry. sorry. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another episode of. Yeah. Okay, today on the show, we got the hottest TikToker in the game. He's my ex-assistant, and now he fucking blew up, and his ego's through the roof. And I know what you guys are thinking. It's fucking deja vu over here, because my old sidekick had a similar thing happen to him. He was getting a bit of an ego when people started noticing him. Hey, you're you're uh, that guy from Jeff's Barbershop, and you guys know I'm talking about Jonah, you know? And then he fucking quit the show for that lousy Discovery show, and... He's miserable now. So we're going to have them both meet today. They're both super awkward people. Um, this, this could go either really good or really bad. <laughs> <laughs> we just got a lot to talk about today. We had a, a nice trip to Utah. Kyle, you have fun out there? Oh, yeah. It was a really fun trip. Probably like the best trip. Of your life? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, lo- really I, I, I love you guys' attitudes because it doesn't take much to, to please you. You know, if I needed to take my old friends on a trip, like all my fucking... Uh, Shaban and all? Yeah. We would need to be gambling in Vegas and doing like big high roller shit. But I love it. I love traveling with you guys, and you get impressed by just going to hang out no, with Mike and a couple like, of his girlfriends. No, I was impressed by Mike. I don't know. It was just like a productive trip, and like we're able to have fun. Yeah, yeah. Oscar stayed back here. He had some work to do and just chilled out from the crew for a bit. Do you feel better, Oscar? Are you happier to see us today? Well, yeah, I guess. Less sick of us. <laughs> it, was, it was nice not having you guys. Okay, that's nice to say. Where the fuck is this narcissistic asshole? He got 100,000 followers overnight. Uh, no, uh, Steven. Is he in the lobby now waiting? In, in the lobby, my living room? <laughs> is he in the green room? I think he's arguing with Ivan. About what, money? He wants to be paid <laughs> no. for this show to be featured on a podcast? No, he texted me. Ivan really just said my TikTok is blowing up because of the Jeff effect. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan's telling him that... The is. reason why he's blowing up is because of you, right? <laughs> yeah. It is. Yeah, it, it is. I, I, I walked outside and, and I heard him say that. He's like, oh, it's a Jeff effect, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Steven! Have a seat, hot shot. Paparazzi's going off. The paps are going off. This man gained... 150,000 TikTok followers overnight. It's fucking unheard of. This has never been done before. And who'd have thought, you know? <laughs> who'd have thought? <laughs> this idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're going you gonna to wear that jacket on here? I'm, I'm comfy. Give me like two minutes and then I'll take it off. It's you know, you want to do the vest? We're both doing vests. Cause yeah, sure. I mean, we got Jonah go coming me. on, and I know Jonah and I have a long history. He was my old sidekick. You're my new sidekick. I know you got no other things going on. I don't even want to be disrespectful Steven, to you now, you calling it, you my sidekick, because you know you yeah, made I've it. You made it completely on your own. No thanks to nobody else. I mean <laughs> that. <laughs> I just told him. Dumb, dumb, dumb. It is the Jeff effect. <laughs> Ivan, Ivan, my uh, executive assistant outside. You were telling him you were out there bragging, saying you. you yeah, got, I thought he knew. And that's how your I was videos, bragging, are, go, like, your okay. videos are going viral, and yeah, he told you like an asshole. That, that's from fucking Jeff. <laughs> hey, this, yeah, that was, that was that's man, he's he's solid. I wish Ivan was more a hey, part of the show and stuff like that you guys would love him i'm happy he checked you there you know that's nice <laughs> okay. wait so okay. you sounded cocky to ivan right now no uh, let's go ask ivan or like unintentionally let's go ask him ivan 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 we talk a lot about you now your name comes up a lot so it'd just be nice to put a face to the name just pop on the yes. headphones ivan i just want to say before we get started thank you for cleaning up my life and helping me run a business properly getting these boys paid on time you know it's a it's a so oh, get I that mean, mic close a, to your bring mouth. Bring the mic to you. Yeah. Right there? Yeah. Yeah, there right. you go. So recently, Stephen has blown up on TikTok, <laughs> as you know. <laughs> yeah, I, he was telling me in the He kitchen. mentioned it outside already Whoa, to okay. you. Was I telling you or bragging? I think it was, I think it was a little bit of bragging. Like this. Whoa, like this. Okay. Oh. All right. So I, think, I think it was bragging. What do you mean by the Jeff effect? So wait, so you, so he was telling you that he gained hundreds of thousands of followers. I think it was like three hundred thousand a day. Yeah. And I said, no, oh, no, 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 a hundred thousand. So you said that he only got those because of me. I, right. You think I get everything <laughs> handed to me from him? You think I get everything handed to me from him? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not just for me because now I, I introduced you to Logan Paul. You're on Impulsive. Get the <laughs> shout out. Impulsive. Go follow my daddy Steve on TikTok. That was that was crazy. And. Yeah, but no, I mean, I've been, I, I appreciate you, you know, saying that to him. Hey, don't forget where you fucking came from. <laughs> oh, right. No, right. Like, keeping it real, you know? Yeah. yeah. But with, with all due respect, Steven made his own original style of videos and they're blowing up. He's hot right now. You know, that, look at him. He's got my glasses on and my jacket. 
Mine. See, They're mine. again, I'm the okay Jeff, with the, it. The Jeff effect. It, it, it is the Jeff effect. <laughs> My, uh, <laughs> yeah. How's everything going business wise? It's busy. Yeah. It's busy. We, you know, we, there's a lot of cleaning up to do, and uh, you know, we're just getting all the paperwork and all of that. So it's. Okay. It's fun. It's actually. Uh, it's, I'm already it's, bored. Of yeah. this stuff, man. <laughs> but you know, it's for, for me. It's actually like I enjoy it. I, I there's it's something that I that I actually like. Yeah, I know you enjoy it, but I feel like you've been making my life so easy. I don't have to deal with paying bills anymore, paying my employees because you handle payroll and uh, business manager. You handle a, little, a lot of stuff that used to stress me out, and these are normal life things right, like right. going into the DMV, getting my whatever pay t like dealing with tickets anyway, and, and right, stuff right, like that right. and you do it all for me so yeah you um, enjoy going into the dmv nah nah you know mm. but it's just like you know you're getting ready for it you know? he enjoys like, organizing things right right and he's know. making my life too organized and i don't have to do any <laughs> stressful shit so i'm not i'm losing i feel i'm losing relatability to my audience and normal people because because i need to struggle more you know <laughs> you i want people? you to send me to fucking send me the dmv i want to wait there for Jeff seven hours easy yeah i don't want to have it easy steven's life was always easy. easy it's like that kanye song you know steven's got it easy fuck i do, <laughs> <laughs> I do. yeah i have a manager now an assistant you want to know who bought me yeah. this jacket and glasses there ain't yours Ooh. I had my assistant get it. I told him I said I want exactly that and that. I want okay, that's like a Jeff. lie. He's but a liar. Like just Straight like you. up. But I want to look just like you. If anything, what we do here on this podcast is we keep it real. Everybody knows it's my jacket and glasses <laughs> more several times already. Uh, but that's what I do. After we wear you it. You look fucking hard as fuck. We put it, it into a closet. It's wardrobe and it's a tax write-off. Done. Isn't that's that how it goes. an impulsive quote? What did you say before that? We keep it, everything real? Maybe I was inspired by impulsive. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I was inspired a bit by impulsive. I like how they, you know, they had those little mics on their phones. They pop up, do the podcast, whatever. Yeah, Mike talks too much about himself and he cuts everybody off. But you know, whatever. It's a good show, and they were very nice to us. They had us on. They gave us a nice plug. Well, Stephen, they gave a nice plug too. The reason I went out to Utah was not to just party with the Paul brothers and take these guys onto Impulsive. That was not. I know it looked like that. We were just in the hot tub with the boys, just having fun. We actually had a, a doctor's appointment there to right, go right. check up on the old eye, see how it's doing, and we got a scan. We got right. to see my uh, doctor Todd. It's a good time we had. Dude, uh, a, Jeff, that was the funnest trip of my life. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> no, I'm, I actually right? want to get back so bad. I was just talking to Kyle. And we did a stream on Patreon. That's where I do my live streams only on Patreon because I got to give some stream. stuff there that I don't do everywhere else for free. That was a lot of fun. It was wild. Mike came in, clout chasing, talking about his, go follow me here and there. <laughs> okay, so this is the scan of my face that we did. And as you can see, there is one side that is completely smashed in and it needs emergency surgery right away. Is it this side? Yeah, it's that side. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's that side for sure. That's a healthy septum on one side where you have all the air pockets and everything. So Which you, side you, is it? Your the nose can breathe. Right? And that's, so that little tip at the, at the point there, that's my nose. So as you can see, my septum's completely smashed. It needs to be operated on immediately. Otherwise, I could get an infection in that bad eye. I can't Ew. breathe through that this side of my nose. Oh, that's I why I, I sound like Leonardo DiCaprio and Wolf of Wall Street. You know, like the, I'm taking clay loops. Right. It was nice to see Dr. Todd, and it does Cook, feel good. Dr. Cook. I mean, uh, Dr. I, I call Todd. him Dr. Todd because oh, we're Todd boys. Oh, Todd Cook. Got it, yeah. got it, got it, got it. Well, thank you for coming yeah. in, Ivan. Thank you for Still straightening working. everything up <laughs> over here. We got a it's, lot of exciting pleasure, stuff coming. You are keeping me out of debt, out of jail, because <laughs> I might have evaded taxes if it wasn't for you. No, you got no, me no. We're, doing we're, the right we're thing. Not gonna, we're not going to. I don't want to be like Mike. The situation get hooked on pills and then forget to pay my taxes. <laughs> right, right. No, we're not. Gonna, we're so not. So thanks gonna for that. that. All right, today's episode is sponsored by Roman. Roman is a digital health clinic for men. Did you know that 52% of men experience ED? That means more men experience ED than don't. But here's the good news: it's the new year, and Roman is going to help you. Get Get to peak performance in the bedroom, Roman provides effective FDA approved treatment for ED. With Roman Platform, you get a free online evaluation and ongoing health care for erectile dysfunction, all from the comfort and privacy of your home. There's no need for those awkward doctor visits and trips to the pharmacy. A U.S. licensed healthcare professional will work with you to find the best treatment plan. And if medication is appropriate, Roman will ship directly to you for free with two days shipping. Perfect timing for Valentine's Day, if you know what I mean. You know, you don't want to screw up on Valentine's Day. It's a big day, a lot of pressure. Make sure you're prepared. Make sure you have 
the help of Roman. This whole process is straightforward, discreet, and will make sure you're performing at your best. Go to GetRoman.com Jeff, where you'll get $15 off your first month of ED treatment plus free two-day shipping. Take advantage of this special discount by February 9th and get $15 off your first month of treatment and guaranteed Valentine's Day delivery with the link in the description, baby. Yeah! It's gonna get spicy on Valentine's Day, thanks to Roman. Jason, if we, the, the sound bites are going off. I'm enjoying your TikTok, sir. Yes. Huh? I can't hear you, what? I said I've been enjoying your TikTok. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> really That's appreciate. nice. Jonah's late, what's new? Are you kidding me? I don't even give a fuck if he shows Ooh. up or not. We were just going over my scan of my face because when I was in Utah, I got an updated scan because I'm going to have to do another surgery soon. Yeah. And that's a healthy scan. Yeah. Now go to mine, Oscar. See the septum? Notice those clean lines through the nose, the tip, the pointy nose there? Yeah. That's mine. See, one side's completely smashed in, bashed Ooh, in real good. from the top of the head, like looking down. So my eyes filled up with a bunch of crap in there that they got to go in and fix up so i'm gonna do surgery in a couple weeks why do you have all these photos of naked guys at a hot tub next to that <laughs> we had a little hot tub party after the scans <laughs> <laughs> we, i had to take my mind off it you know i hear you I man i know how you let my boys up, and we yeah. did a little patreon stream a hot tub stream right on right yeah. on it was wild no look at ryan he looks great he was not he love me yeah, he was uh, trying to act cool, like he was too cool for it. <laughs> Ryan has that attitude a lot, like he's too cool to do these like he's corny things. Dish. Well, he's he's a, he's an alt comedian. Okay, and that's a, that's what you know. All comedians in their twenties, that's what they have to do. They have to, you have to, you know, appear like they don't care, uh -huh. even though it that's quite the dichotomy. That if you're a comedian in itself, you you have a horrible need to be liked, and you need approval from people. Yeah, so you can't be an alt comedian. So it's just, it's a very tough place to be. And I was once there. So I, I, I understand what he's going through. Yeah. Too cool for streaming. Oh, comedians do need validations from others. And, <laughs> na and nowadays it sucks because. Please give me, co somebody compliment me. Because you're, if you're a comedian online, you get so much backlash in the comments. So a lot of these new up and coming comedians on, uh, that come up through social media, through TikTok and stuff like yeah. that, they could start getting a bunch of hate and that could absolutely crush your dreams. But somehow Steven right now is on a fucking roll. You're, you're killing it. You're very funny. I think you're Thank doing you. great. How the fuck did Jonah get booked on this show and I'm here before him? What is going on? I mean, are you surprised? You travel the world with the guy. You film a discovery show, an actual big production, and you still deal with these issues. You think he's going to respect me? I, I just think, you know, he owes a lot to you. You know, we, all help, you each, see that. we all help each other out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he should be here. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. Yeah, yeah. Well, whatever. Well, well, we, we could say what we're working on. About a year ago, we did a roast. It was very successful, very fun. Yep. And we got another one in the works. We're cooking up. I can't say who it is yet. Can't, can't say who it is yet. Can we say who's involved? A couple of the Jeff, roasters? This is what I can say. Jeff will be roasting. Mm -hmm. I will be roasting. And Jonah will be roasting. And Jonah will for be sure. roasting. Okay, so uh, definitely us three. The three J's will be involved. And uh, so far... 99% of my jokes are directed right at Jonah. I don't even give a fuck who the main roaster or, or uh, what is it called? Uh, the roasty. The host. Fuck him. I'm going right at Jonah. I'm going to fucking ruin our relationship that night. We were joking that it would be funny if your entire set was just Mike Sheffer jokes. Yeah. But, yeah. I think yeah. I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do that with Jonah because my you know, Mike Sheffer and I, we've been growing a little closer together. Now, so. are, are you and Steven, you getting along? Yeah, we're getting along yeah, good. I, I, I kind of feel like it's the early days of Jonah and I when, you know, we liked each other so much and it just made it made me happy to see Jonah when we would meet up. I was watching your TikToks like, this kid is so fucking funny. <laughs> I'm like, he's such a good actor. <laughs> or maybe, maybe it's an act. It's relatable. Yeah, somewhat, right? yeah, yeah. And I try to make him look somewhat realistic. Well, some of them I try no to make edits, him look real. Yeah, just no yeah, random really cuts, great. No the Takis one music. is really funny. Wait, tell, tell, tell the story of... Mike. Oh my! Oh yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah. Do so oh my yeah. cloud chase! He's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? I, Bro, I, was, I was gonna do. I was gonna do. A, did you, I was gonna do a skit with these two girls that were there. Yeah. And I asked Mike uh, a few days earlier. I was like, Hey, Mike. I don't really know these girls. I haven't talked to them. They're like with him. Yeah. I'm like, could you like help me out and see if they could do a TikTok with me? And he's like, Sure. <laughs> And then uh, the day came, and I was like, it was like the last day that we were there, and I was like, I need to get this out. Like, I need to make this. It would be really good. And I asked Mike, or Kyle helped me. He went up and got Mike and was like, Hey, can we film this? Yeah. And then Mike, and then as we're about to start filming, Mike, it, Mike was, was like, was Oh like, yeah, sure. Uh, you want me in it or something like that? <laughs> he's like, I'm like, what? <laughs> I didn't know how to say. Yeah. The know how to say he's no. the cloud goblin for he was real. Like, oh, that I guy can make Mike, it better by Mike just, uh, will fucking hop on anything. This poor kid. <laughs> 
He just got 100,000 followers and he's like, yeah, let me get in this fucking TikTok. They know me on Logan Paul's I mean, I, 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 yeah, I don't know how to say nothing, but I don't care. I, I like Mike. He's I, cool. I, 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 saw I, Mike, I love Mike. I, I yeah, saw Mike walk by in one of them. He said something like, Are you yeah, that was the chat one. Or, yeah. That was the one. Yeah. yeah. He had yeah, even, I, I like Mike's vlogs a lot. I watch yeah, them all the time. Cool. You know who I really, if you're watching, you know who I really love is George. I was George talking to him. Yeah, George is really George funny. George Janko, he's so funny and he's so like genuine in person. He's just how he, he's exactly how he is when he's on camera, like in real life. It was my, I love George. George, if you're watching, like that crew, Jay. We, we, we're, making heard, a, we're making alliances, you know. I, I heard, I heard you're moving over to. to no, I'm not moving over. Crew. We're just making, a, we're making, we're making alliances, you know. I was, I still I got, was with David at the Hall of Justice the other day. Oh, were they saying with Superman and Hulk and Wonder Woman? We all got together. Aquaman came in, and David, and he was the uh, Vlog Squad Hall of Justice, and David was like. Man, we're losing Jeff we lost the them. impulsive crew. <laughs> I'm just straight business. You know the deal, right, Steven? Yeah, we're in the course. fucking business game, you know? Yeah. We're making alliances. We got the Paul brothers. We stop by, pop in, hang out. You know, they were in Utah. They happened to be there while we were in Utah. You did great on their show, though. I saw a clip that was really funny. I Thank can't you. remember yeah, what it was. What was the clip? I mean, they're, easy, they're easy to film with. You know, they're like us. Yeah, very, a lot of similarities. Yeah, it's just very, they're yeah. way tougher. And you know, is Mike tough too? No, Mike's just. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't know. I, know I, Logan's I, tough. I, I like Mike a the, lot. The impulsive guys do a really good job of like just being like fair and nice to everybody. You know, when yes. they when they could be, you know, they could be dicks about everything because they, yeah. they have everything going on and they are tough or yeah. whatever. Logan introduced oh, himself. Yeah, really nice Logan job. walked up to us and introduced himself to us. Like he, that was so genuine. Bro, yeah. one, one it was time, so nice. One time I was in Doctor Phil makeup, like I was like dripping with sweat. None of you guys were around, and I was like trying to like the to do Doctor Phil. It cost me like a thousand dollars, which is like a lot of money to me. <laughs> Seven and, hours of makeup. It's yeah, it's like four hours of makeup. So I'm dressed as Doctor Phil like a fucking idiot, and like <laughs> and the lights going down, and I don't have enough footage yet to make the bit worth the thousand dollars that it cost. Yeah. And I texted Logan, and he fucking was like, "Yeah, come on over." Yeah, and I, and oh, I, wow. I got like a great little bit with Logan, and yeah, I think I went there twice actually. But he's, you know, he's, he's super nice. nice. He didn't yeah, have to do very that. Nice. Yeah, 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 he's the best. yeah, yeah. Now, if you get if you get rich and famous, Stephen, <laughs> I have what? managers reaching out to me now. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna Jack have Reed? to have a chat with them. I'm gonna have to talk to them. <laughs> don't work with <laughs> Jack Reed, <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> that? That's our manager. He's, Jack, really? he's uh, uh, yeah, he's a scumbag. But you need a no, good, no, need Jack. Jack Reed's great. There is one manager that wants to talk to me, and I'm gonna have we're gonna have a meeting. We want to plan a meeting, and I'm gonna have it here with him and. Jeff is taking 20%. 80. <laughs> I said 80%. 80%. That's fair. I think that's fair. Team 10 was he dumb. Team should have done Team 80. Yeah. You know? I'm <laughs> doing Team 80%. This could, I'm, could be like an overnight thing. We never know. Like It could, just it could die tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. It could die tomorrow. We, could, fucking, you know. we could all die tomorrow. <laughs> you know? The planet you know, could get hit by an asteroid. Was scary. I don't like how... I mean, not that I don't like. I'm very grateful for it, but I'm like scared that how fast it's going up. I don't want it to do the exact same thing when it goes down. You know what I mean? I don't want it to like... Uh, the like pressure sets hit, in. Look like at it. A, you end up like a this. 15 minutes of fame thing <laughs> where like it just shoots up super fast and then boom. You end up in a Dr. Phil costume waiting for Logan Paul to come outside. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. This is so nice because you get to see the start of it and the, the end of it. <laughs> 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 yeah, Steven. Hey, enjoy the ride, right? Yeah, That's the, the most ride. important advice. That's what Conor McGregor gave Sean O'Malley, the up and coming superstar in the UFC. Connor told him, enjoy the ride. I What's the first ride. thing you're going to buy, Steven, when you make a ton of dough? Um, oh, he I'm, told I'm me on the plane. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I'm, I, went, I, I was like, if I get a 50000 not anytime soon, but when or if I ever get like a, say, $50,000 brand deal or whatever, mm-hmm. or for wherever it comes from, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, I would pay off my car payments, right? It's like $6,000. Okay, left. Oscar and I'd Kyle. Pay off, uh, I pay my debts with my friends. It's like, I'm like $500 <laughs> you still owe that money, yeah, man? I'm probably like $500 in debt with them. <laughs> And then I uh, would pay off my rent and move into a different place for like two thousand a month. Yeah. Well, so then taxes would come and yes, they they, the they would audit you and then you'd end up in jail. I, actually, I would just use that to get become uh, financially what's it called like um, stable. Just stable. You know what I mean? Like all my feet. Mm-hmm. And then I can focus. You know, I have everything paid off. I, yeah. There's that Maryland. What if accent? the economy crashes? Then I, I don't whatever. <laughs> I mean, it, then we're all fucked. <laughs> Say phone. Phone. <laughs> right. well, it's a Maryland it. accent. I say, love it. Say loan. Everyone says say that. loan. I don't, I don't notice. Like, say loan. Car loan. Car loan. Car loan. Say, say, say notice. 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 Stephen, Stephen, would you ever do stand up? No, absolutely not. He's very scared of a lot of things. He's scared mm-hmm. to come here mm-hmm. because it's a bad neighborhood and he just fears the surroundings that he's going to get <laughs> stuck gate, up. The gate and is broken again, so I had to go around the back. Oh, yeah, the, bat, the back alley. But there's a lot of stuff going on with, with just LA in general right now. Everybody's robbing everybody. Terrible. I saw Zane got robbed again. Another home invasion. Are you serious? On him. 
Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, I, I, um, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> what, the, what, what was it you? What the fuck? <laughs> 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 what, was what was that answer? You're like, <laughs> hey man, let's not talk about that. Yeah. No, I, I, he, I he's watched pretty it on their podcast sure. last night. No, I, he's pretty sure that someone was in the house, but he doesn't have Whoa. proof. He, so he, proof, he hid in the closet because he saw the door was open. He said that somebody opened the front door and he came downstairs and the front door was open. So I don't know. Yeah. Zane hid in his closet because he had no weapons to defend himself. You have a gun? And there's a lot of stories going around about people getting tied up, home invasions tied up, Uh, held at gunpoint, people getting stabbed up, a lot of murders. I always fear Mm -hmm. that somebody's going to come, you know, rob me and they're going to say I don't have anything (laughs) and And be like, no, seriously, fucking, what do you got? You know, and I'll be like, I I have a MacBook. Like, that's it. (laughs) Yeah, just don't take my dog. You know, oh, always yeah. really turning yeah. into like Gotham City. Home invasion. You you're in your, a, a dead sleep, middle of the night. You yeah. hear somebody creeping around. They're inside. Heart starts racing. Yeah, guy comes in your room. Yeah, you make eye contact. He sees now you're in the house. Yeah, what's your first move? Grab his nuts. Oh, you attack. Yeah, well, this is real shit. Because right now, if you have a home invasion or a robbery at your house, if it's under five hundred bucks, cops don't even come. Yeah. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, I'm in. So I'm, in, in your own. I'm in a tough spot because I don't know how to handle a gun. I'm in a tough spot because I can't buy a gun because those damn felonies are holding me back. Yeah, man. So can't I'm gonna. Go have, to, I, I'm gonna can't have go to, out of the country. Can't get a gun. Yeah. Can't vote. Yeah. They fucked you, but yeah. you pay taxes. Well, I got. I got. I just can't legally own a gun. <laughs> but yeah, if a guy walks into my house and I'm in bed, yeah. What do you do? He walks in what my bedroom. Do? I get up. I'll look at him, I'll say, this could either go two ways, pal. You could run out of here right now. Hey, sh- shut the fuck up, man! Shut, sh- sh- shut the fuck up! Calm down, okay? You could run out of here right now. And I'm not the type of guy to call the cops. Or you could stay here, keep pointing that gun at me. And this is gonna end really bad for the both of us. I want and the maybe. board bunnies, man. Oh, you know what type <laughs> Came for of the N- board bunnies. You know what type of NFTs I got? Just give me a jump drive with the board bunnies and your Coinbase wallet. You got the wrong guy, pal. You're in the wrong house. You're not getting anything. I came for the I came for the styling gel. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. I'll do a little product placement. <laughs> That's, That's pretty good, man. That's a great speech. I mean, good luck with that speech. I hope it- I'll probably die. <laughs> Steven, would you ever box anybody? No, I'm a lover, not a fighter. I feel bad yeah. for this guy. It's probably it's probably tough to keep up with you. Yeah, I had to take a hiatus because I got my anxiety was getting too bad. Not not that I'm not scared of him. I'm just I actually thought you're, crazy. I actually Wait, thought you were a lot tougher. No, he is tough. He has boxing training. He has oh, good he head movement and stuff like that. You know, he's he's got potential tough. and he's got confidence too. He's attacked me naked in the in the house the other day. There's a video up on Patreon if you want to see Steven naked. He's a celebrity now. <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, baby. Yeah. He attacked me. I was in their in their room. They had bunks in their room, so yeah. I'm just in there hanging out. You know, I figured I'd go hang with the boys in their room, and I'm on my phone, and then I just get fucking attacked by a naked <laughs> creature. Like Mr. Krabs of the show. That's funny. Do you have yeah, it? I got pissed uh, off. It's on Patreon, bro. We can't show it on here. Your fucking dick reaction. and ass is out. But well, yeah, Steven's famous now. If you want to see him nude, go to my Patreon. <laughs> Cheapest tier. We got. We just, we're giving it away basically over Five there. Five bucks. Five bucks. That's yeah. Deal. Yeah. <laughs> and that eighty percent. I'm gonna get it one way or another. <laughs> yeah. All right. So while we wait for this asshole that with no respect for me, oh, he's almost there. here. He's almost here. All right. So since he's almost here, let me. Uh, Tell the story about uh, what happened this morning. Nerf was getting a bath, and he took a shit in the tub while he was getting a bath, <laughs> and it was bad, oh, man. No. That guy, he's, he he has moments of where he's doing great. Like, I'll take him out for a walk, and he's playing with dogs, and then yeah. he comes back in the house sometimes, and he'll, like, not, like, it's, I think it's dementia. Yeah. I think Nerf has dementia. Oh, you know what dementia guy. is, Steven? Where you forget things, right? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. I love Nerf videos. <laughs> oh, man. I <laughs> forgot I even sent over the video. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you heard it? You heard it? <laughs> <laughs> and look, shit. J- no way. <laughs> oh! oh! See, look at him. Look at him. Oh, he shit all in the tub. Is- I, don't know. I, don't, I don't even know if I want to put leave that in the video. He's He just got a little... Alzheimer's or dementia? I don't know, but that's, that's good insane, that you know what it was. Jeff. It kind of reminds me of my grandfather. Your grandfather was like that. At one point, they had to take away his license. Like, yeah, he, they wouldn't <laughs> let him drive anymore. And he was like a big tough guy, and he was like, "Nah, well, you're not fucking taking my license." Like at first, he was like cool, yeah. but then 
he would take me with him and we'd go take the car and we'd go drive to McDonald's and stuff like that. Right. Ooh, and true. I'd just be rolling with him. It was a 1990, 1997 Chevy Lumina. Oh and yeah, the Lumina. My mom had a Lumina. We would just be cruising around in this Lumina and I was 10. That is the quintessential old person call, by the way. In Staten Island, like that's <laughs> yeah. exactly, it lo- that's not my house, but it looks like the outside of Why do you what have my a house picture of it? Like. Because I just want, I want to paint the story for people. Oscar, give me some music for this fucking Staten Island childhood story. My grandfather refused to give up his license or his keys. The license was, I think, taken because he was like going blind and also dementia didn't know where he was, but he still wanted to drive and he would take me to McDonald's because I always wanted to go to McDonald's as a kid right. after little league practice. Right. So he gets me in the car and he would just fucking sideswipe shit all the time. <laughs> we would just be sliding up, just hitting cars what like the- we were in fucking Grand Theft Auto, like playing a video game and we just keep it moving. And I didn't know because I'm a kid. I'm 10. This is an adult. I thought, you know, this is normal. You can just fucking do shit like this. My mom got pissed that I was riding around with him and she was driving. Like She thought I was safe over there with my grandparents that right. I was being babysat and little did she know I was out on joy rides playing GTA in real life right. with my grandfather. So one day I get home from school and my grandfather shows up at my house and he's like this he's in bad shape now and he's like i need a uh, i need a towel then he's give me a towel give me a towel and i'm like a towel for what what like what do you need a towel for and the whole fucking side of the car was completely just smashed in like he had side swipes from shit bad and he's asking for a towel to go out and wipe down the car so i get him the towel and i I come outside i'm like we're gonna need to do more than this like we need to hit a body shop a pay and spray or something like that from gta the towel didn't do anything to help it out (laughs) there was paint from other cars on it and everything so of course they found out my mother found out I did not rat. I did not say shit. You know, I was like, nah, I didn't help him. Like, I didn't seen. I haven't seen him in months. Right. You know, right. and yeah, that was the last straw for him. He lost his. That was his last privilege of driving. And I feel like that's kind of where Nerf's at right now. Like, if, like when Nerf's walking around, he kind of bumps into shit. Yeah. That's Nerf driving around in his Chevy Lumina. And then, and then, what happened to your grandfather? Did he go like? Um... He died. <laughs> oh my god! That was not funny at all. <laughs> I fucking I don't know how I ended up here with him. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. Where Steven, you how's your these? how's your sex life going, that? Steven? How, how how's your sex Dude, life? Dude, I'm you, the man. I get so many girls. What I type get of like, girls you like big ass? You into girls with big asses? No, that's intimidating. I like petite <laughs> Uh, yeah. Hamburger bun butt girls. Okay, <laughs> Jeff, where do you find these fat comedic geniuses? <laughs> so, uh, you're literally, you're literally like they come uh, to me. You, they they you attract to me. Should you start a talent, uh, yeah, I know, a talent agency. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, today's episode is sponsored by DoorDash. Have you got back-to-back meetings, errands to run, and chores to take care of? What's the secret to clearing your to-do list? A little help from DoorDash. You can get dinner household essentials, and everything on your grocery list delivered. Ever pull into the driveway after a trip to the grocery store only to realize that you forgot that one key ingredient for dinner? Well, now you have options. What do you want to eat tonight? Maybe you want a home-cooked favorite, but you don't feel like going to the store, or you want something exciting and new, but it would be great to stay in tonight. DoorDash connects you with everything you want whenever and however you want it. With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeyes, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. Ordering is easy, and your items will be left safely outside your door when you choose contactless delivery drop-off so you don't have an awkward interaction with the guy when you show up in your underwear. You know, maybe you're embarrassed at night, and you're ordering ice cream at 4 a.m. You don't want to see a delivery man, you know? It's perfectly normal. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees with their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code JeffFM. That's 25% off, up to a $10 value, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code JeffFM. Don't forget, that's code JeffFM for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subjects to change, terms apply. Back on with the episode. I just hopped in. Oh, okay. oh damn. <laughs> what the? That's fucked up. Put on the headphones so you can hear what's going on. All right, we got Jonah here, everybody. Finally. Nice of you to show up. Good to see you. You can turn off the off the the. the he don't like it. Um, you look good. You got a nice haircut. Cleaned up nice. You too. You look good too. Thanks. We've been chatting. I'm happy to have you here. I guess with Steven. You know. I guess. And Jason. 
What's going it's on with you? How's the restaurant biz? It's good. Yeah? It's good. Nice. This is so awkward. <laughs> this is so uncomfy. Oh my God. Jonah, what are, you uh, what are you feeling right now? What do you want to say to scared. Jeff? It's Jonah. It's okay. <laughs> Talk to Jeff. Tell him uh, how you feel. Yeah. Let's get real today. What's going on with you in your life? I'm good. I'm doing... Uh, What's the main goal in life for you? The, your dreams? Why does this mean that Are you following them? I'm following my dreams. Uh, Are you gonna okay. cry? You got stuff in the works, man, and I'm I'm laying it up for you. You know, I want I want you to. And I just I get caught. I got caught there because I just had Chipotle. It was, okay, <laughs> it's cool. I'm not, I'm not doing it because I'm. It a bit, I'm not. <laughs> oh, I thought you were like gonna go deep and you were no. like gonna get emotional. No, no, no. I was just, it was just the bowl you had. I, I had a, a burrito, so. Let's get down to business Sorry. here. There's a reason why you two are here. And that is because I went to go get another checkup on the eye. I know I sound like a broken record, but, you know, that's life. I got to deal with it. I went to see the doctor, and I need help. I need serious help. And there's not many people that can help me out through Finan it. Financial help? Or no, I don't need financial help. It's covered. The Obrick LLC will cover the surgery bills whatever but i went in and there he is dr todd my man um is that a person or a statue he does look th it is overexposed this is before he it was like colored wax model yeah <laughs> he does look like the, <laughs> we could get into something else after but so i went to go see him and i was stressed out about my doctor visit Jesus, because a better picture for this it, guy it, just we're not it's showing it right now so i was stressed out because you know i went in there and i was hoping to get good news like oh you're fine your eyes healing great Turns out I got bad news. I have to get three more surgeries, and one of those surgeries is a fat transfer to my eye to because when you get in an accident, you get smashed. It's called fat atrophy. You the fat dissolves, yeah. you know, so fat gets broken down, and your body loses it, and it doesn't naturally reproduce it. So oh, wow. you know, like if we fucking took a baseball bat to your stomach, fucking twenty times hard, we might just invent a fucking new yeah. procedure. But we're not going to be Chris Hemsworth. We're not going to do that. I was this, this I was, just makes me not want to give you part of my fat to put in your. I can't. Is that I, what you're getting I can't, to? I can't get your fat. I can't get your fat. He says it in this video. But I was devastated after I heard that. I tried to play it off with jokes and comedy as I, I normally do. So you need to get a fat. You need to get fat. Just play the clip. <laughs> So we go put fat in all of the quadrants all the way around it behind it so that we don't pack more in one than the other we literally go in the four quadrants we go put fat fat so fat fat and straight for fried chicken I ice cream need, I need you to be on the McDonald's diet for super size me diet I got, hey. I got you I got a fat up. right there I was pretending to be happy and joke around Mm -hmm. but I need to get fat. I need to fatten up, and I have three weeks to do it, <laughs> and I need help. I need so, help <laughs> from you boys. I will pay for everything. I want to hit buffets with you two. I want to be getting late-night ice cream. <laughs> I want burritos. Mm. I want fucking fried chicken, waffles with ice cream on them at night. I'm going to be ordering pancakes, <laughs> cheesecake factory. I'm going all out for the next three weeks. Jonah you G. know how I was there for you with Beefy Boys. <laughs> you had a goal, and I helped you get to it. Now I need your help. I have a goal, and I, I'm worried. I don't think I can pull it off. I don't think I'll get enough. It's tough for me, bro. It's hard. I need to actually pack on LBs on the belly in order to save my eye and life. Just eat, though, you know? I can't. I'm not, I'm not that hungry all the time. I drink LaCroix and stuff. I need you guys around to be a bad influence on me. I need you guys around to fucking stuff me with all types I mean, of I crap. I mean, I wish we can switch bodies for... I wish we could do that too, bro, or I'll die. I need to right now. If I could get a transfer from you two for you to be a donor, then that would work. But the following clip of that is he says, no, that doesn't work. I asked him. I said, can I just take some from one of my friends? I got. I actually have a lot of how overweight will you, friends. How will you die? Because it could get an infection in there right now. <clears throat> it's like clogged up with other stuff. He and needs fat in his like, sinus and behind the eye area. If I don't get fatter and stupider, I'm going to die. Jonah, does Jeff have what it takes? Yeah. I thought you'd be more excited for me to get blowing up like a whale i mean no one knows this about you but you used to come over all the time and i used to bake you cookies that's back when i needed your help back then but now it's even worse <laughs> it's true. I would milk too I would, yeah I would you watch movies I would bake. <laughs> we used to be really good friends fuck up, bro. <laughs> oh, i'm so sorry oh. he made it seem like it was weird that's no so i'm cute. sure no, i'm I sorry, know. I'm sorry. sorry. he's laughing he's 
set. He was making fun of him. I know you had my back. So thank sorry. You. Thank you. Thank and you. And I thank joke. You. I'm not. His ego is getting to him. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is that, dude? Like, what? whoa, bro, this is okay. too real. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> do you guys want to fat me up or what? I thought you'd be excited. I was down from this. I already told you I was down. Jeff, I'm down to fatten you up. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'd not. fucking love it. I got three weeks. Now look, shit like this stresses you out. When you have surgeries in the future, I'm sure before your hip, mm. you know, you were stressed out. Super stressful. But with that surgery behind my eye, they need to go back and put the fat there. The optic nerve has three millimeters of slack. Right. I need to put two millimeters. So I have one millimeter of risk here of leeway to if i will go blind or not the optic nerve gets snipped and any... done it's so funny how much jeff has learned i could be like a damn body. optometrist like you sound could, like I a could fucking optometrist I, I, could, I could do i could do eye surgeries with in my airstream just with my you're like edge. the you're like the, <laughs> you the guy have... in jail that like has to study to defend himself in court and goes yeah. to the prison library every day that's what's on my plate right now and i need to draw this out like Otherwise, I'm going to freak myself out before this surgery, thinking I'm going to go blind. I need to stick to a stupid game plan, even if it's a dumb game plan, like just eat fucking tons of cheesecake every day with you guys. That would keep my mind off of me stressing nonstop over you should hit all these the friends, upcoming man. surgeries. You should hit all the friends. You should go go to Jonas Kebab. Eat with I want to be doing mukbangs. Let's make content out of it. Let's do all this shit, and then right after surgery, we go into a strict workout plan, two a days. We get fucking ripped, all oh, three good. of us. We all get fat. And then in three months from now, we all get fucking ripped. You know? That doesn't sound fun. I. You take your time on podcasts. I'm all in. <laughs> <laughs> it's on you, Steven. No, I just said that okay, I, just wanted, I was all in. I wanted you both so it's set up like, oh, I'm okay, like, yeah. a, like a shitty wanna, host of okay, Survivor or something yeah, like that. You I'm know? In, I'm down. Well, you have, we have to. <laughs> go through this with my manager first because you know <laughs> no, your manager. it took it's 25 not, not minutes <laughs> to your get him manager? to say yes. Jonah's <laughs> like I've been at this for five years I haven't been a manager <laughs> I mean, now we're all rep by Jack Reed who's your manager <laughs> don't worry about it I'm not saying <laughs> <that. laughs> no, no, I don't mean like an aggressive no way it's just, I don't want to you look like fucking Vardon dude <laughs> that's your brother it looks oh, like you so Jonah uh, kebab biz is going good. You are you allowed to talk about the project that you're working on? Uh, yeah. Okay, because you sent me over a treatment. You've been writing a movie, and it's actually really, really good. And mm -hmm. when you left me, I was praying for your downfall. I was fucking hoping for your demise. <laughs> but um, time went on, and I do miss you. And we had some chats, and you showed me your script and and the outline of it, and it's actually really fucking funny you have talent man i this he's fucking big beefy talented boys just attract to me <laughs> and now they're gonna save my life by beefing me up you know what i'm saying kyle wake up back there you fucking stoner hit a fucking <laughs> button for that okay hold on guys we got one caller it's a weather segment just so we could find out what oh, the I weather is uh just <laughs> after this just <laughs> right, after, right after we get to the weather it's an important segment here. Uh, no uh, fancy set today, huh? No, the weather's good. It's fine. Um, I instead wanted to tell a story I wrote. If that's can you fancy. elaborate what, what city you're in, what uh, what the weather is? You said it's good. Is it? I'm in yeah. Denver. It's fine. It's fine. It's, good. it's overcast, whatever. I don't know what that means. Um, a howling wind swirled around Stephen, eerily whistling through the trees around him. He shuddered. Are you reading he Shakespeare? Through his discomfort. Why are you wiggling your Just feet listen. like a teenage girl? <laughs> he shuddered through his discomfort, was well concealed by his mighty physique, trudging alone along a desolate path in a deep forest on a desperate hunt for his lost lover, Jeff, who had been ripped away from him by the foul beast, Jonah. Stephen's Fuck carnal you, lust for Jeff was... <laughs> You fucking heroin at it. <laughs> that, wrong guy. Oh. Wrong guy. That's a wrong friend. <laughs> wrong new friend of mine. He grazed against his burly chest once more. Fuck, dude. His soft lips kissing him all over. Stephen felt his member throb as he became <laughs> lost in the daydream. He like was this. alerted by the sound of a snapping twig nearby <laughs> and readied himself for an attack. A dark silhouetted creeps by. Stephen pounced on Rithering against Hey, listen, the if I ground. want poems, After I'll call my buddy Todd. He's an actual uh, poet, published author. You're supposed to be a weatherman, pal. Stephen managed to <laughs> pin the man on his back, straddling him. Their faces so close he could feel the man's hot breath against his neck. 
are you? Steven cried out. The man panting responded, It's me! It's Kyle! Steven let out a <laughs> sigh. <sighs> he should have known. He could recognize Kyle's Please masculine, call. well-toned figure anywhere. He stood up, <laughs> but in doing we so, gotta give him his Kyle's full time. massive semi-erect cock. Okay, oh. enough, 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 <laughs> enough, 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 <laughs> enough of this shit. Enough of this shit, man. It sounds like you guys want me to keep going. You're Can't talking about- No, I no, like no, no, the no. piece. You could keep hang going. Hang up on him, hang up. All right, we uh, put out some fan submission questions on Twitter and also on the Discord, and we got tons, man. People love us together. They miss the duo, and they're also curious to see what's going on with us three, what we're capable of, and we, Jason was a surprise, so I guess you could j hop in on the questions, too. I'm here. Um, let's roll them. Get into them. Hey, guys. My name's Jack. I've been a big fan for a long time, and it's been a pleasure to watch you guys all grow your businesses. Sounds and sarcastic, your right? And you know, really seeing you guys all get bigger and bigger, Jonah, especially you, you've gotten <laughs> way bigger. Um, That's not cool. What the fuck? Um, anyway, my question is for Jeff. Uh, Jeff, do you think that um, you are the face of the mullet now, or do you think that, like, Theo Vaughn has you covered? Hey, man. I like your joke. You dig at Jonah. Um, I, uh, I definitely popularized the mullet a lot. I made it cool. Theo... May, made it cool as well. He's had it longer. Respect to Theo. Yeah, that guy's an inspiration, but he did not inspire my mullet. That was yeah. completely on me. And yeah, I'll give Theo, Theo the credit. Theo's from the South too, so he's like really. He was born with really a mullet. He came mullet. out of yeah. the womb with a mullet. Yeah. I just got this by a knockoff Eminem. <laughs> 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 this is a nice one. We have a, a female here. This mm -hmm. should be good. And nice, maybe sweeter. What up, Jonah? I'm Susie. <laughs> not your sister, though. Um, <laughs> I actually wrote the first draft of Jeff Wittick's Wikipedia page because he's done a bunch of notable things, finally, and had enough coverage in the media to be able to submit a Wikipedia page and have it stand without being deleted. <laughs> I'm wondering, Jonah, why you haven't done more notable things so that I could, or someone else could make you a wikipedia yeah. page what a good question there i love that that was now this is how you submit a question guys if you're watching from home research solid question insult to the guest a little backhand a little compliment to jeff perfect execution <laughs> jonah why have you not done more notable things you know jonah wants Fuck, to change dude. his name to back to new bar like officially go by new bar i respect that i would love for you to go back to new bar or nick I don't like that you've become the character. It's consumed your brain. And even when you came in here, you felt like you had to come in here and be mean to us. And that's not the plan. We wanted to big you up today, talk about I how mean, great no your movie one, script no is. One's, no one's mean. I mean, everybody's been pretty mean. Even that last submission was pretty mean. The girl said you've never done anything notable. But you got a big movie in the works, and I believe in that. I'll invest in it. I'll fucking throw you, I mean, an NFT or something. Thank you. I'll chip in. If I could get a good role in it, the I want to be your sidekick. The movie I, that won't happen. The movie is. I want to be the leading lead lead male. The movie is heavily influenced by mental health. Perfect. I'm fucking it's, nuts. Uh, I talk about mental health every episode. <laughs> it's People are sick of it on a broken record. Wham! <laughs> my eye, my brain. <laughs> it's something that's ruined my life. <laughs> so I want to get it out in a funny format. What do you think it's been affected by? The business we chose to go into. No, it's, I think it's always been like that. So it's just going to, you know. But Jason said something earlier well, well, is that comedians are always seeking, um, they they always want people to like them. Sure, validation. Yes, I, yeah. I just said that earlier and he true. said he's not, so I was trying to disguise it as something else. Do you feel like you can't be your complete genuine self? I mean, I'll have 100 people like me, but I, I don't, I don't want to seek so much validation that those three people are going to ruin me. What's the point of... Having everyone like you. I mean, sure, I would love for the whole world to like me, but that's not yeah. that's not going to happen. Ryan has a roast for Jenna. Can I say it? Uh, yeah, this is a good time to hit him. I yeah, guess. here you go. Uh, Ryan said. Bottom. Ryan, the leader, said Jenna was <laughs> late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jenna was yappin, late yappin, yappin, because yappin, his elevator yappin, yappin, was broken yappin, yappin. and it has hard to roll. I fucked it up. <laughs> Jenna was late because his elevator was broken and it's hard to roll upstairs. <laughs> Tell him that was my roast. From Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Perfect timing That's to hit good. you with that while you were at rock bottom opening up about. Uh, he was? Yeah. yeah. I've never <laughs> <won. You> got, <laughs> I turned out. No, no, no. There's a you got to not zone out on these things, man. Have more caffeine. Have some more of that. No, it's too much. Energy you're turning out. <laughs> what are you drinking? A bang energy? I don't. Something I've been made me. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 Steven, Steven, Steven. That's my four thousand dollar jacket that I got for. It, it's four, I got it. I got it discounted. I got it for forty percent off. 
they got the influencer warehouse? rate. No, but I'm, I'm very upset about that. I'm not going to let it affect me. It's unreal. Where did you find Steven? He found me. He came in my house and asked me for a job. He said, I'll work for free. No way. Yeah. And he'd seen your videos? And then he asked me for money after the first thing he did. He did? <laughs> yeah. He goes, can I get at least like 200 for gas? Where are you driving to? Fucking Utah? <laughs> well, that's all, that's an impressive story. I, I'm actually very impressed by he that. He left for it. He didn't even hear it. Huh? We were paying you a compliment. <laughs> yeah. And now you're back, you so guys. fuck you. We have somebody that wants to call in for some oh, advice. Oh, perfect. A caller, a live caller. I haven't seen any of your content in a little while, but this was good timing. I came on to the Patreon page. And uh, oh, nice. You got to catch up. We did, we've did. we been doing tons of fun stuff, vlogging. We put out two vlogs a month on Patreon. We're even do an extra one this month. I don't know, because we've just been overshooting. It's great. Vlogging's fun. I don't know what you guys complain about. You know? <laughs> Are you guys complaining about vlogging over there? Well, when you do it every day for five years and you're closing in on 50 and your <laughs> ex-wife is getting mad at you for being out vlogging with a bunch of 20-year-olds all the time, then yeah, I, get, I bet there's stuff to complain about. Who are you talking about? Who are you referencing there? I just any vloggers. Yeah. What's going on with you, though? I hear you need some advice, and uh, that's shocking because you seem like you have it all together. I'm for saying that, uh, but yeah, I don't have it all together. Don't tell anybody that, though. I won't. Secret safe with us. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I do have a question. Did you see Steven's Good here? Good afternoon, ma'am. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I remember this, this interaction. Like Rachel. <laughs> Whoa! Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Okay, are there things in your past that you hide from dating prospects or wish you could hide them if they weren't so public? Like things that happened in your past? For example, if your criminal history was entirely expunged, but it was still someone serious. Would you ever tell her about it? Uh, no, like, are it's, I mean, it's who I am. And, you know, I'm not running around selling cocaine anymore, or doing any wild stuff like that. You know, I, I, I would have to be completely honest. If I'm going to actually seriously uh, take someone serious to spend the rest of my life with, they would have to know everything about me. It would have to be an open book. No, I wouldn't be able to keep secrets. So I'll give you my personal scenario is that, I was talking to somebody and they say, um, have you ever had kids or married? I've been married, I'm divorced, but I don't like to tell people that. I like to keep that secret. I don't have kids, but I lied. I lied and I said, no, he's dead. My husband died. <laughs> Ooh, I, said. I, I like that you make a joke out of it. And I like that you're, you're, you know, well, you're not honest about it. I think, yeah, it's kind of being honest saying that you weren't married and then you're not anymore, but there's nothing wrong with that. Why would you lie about that? Why do you need to lie about that? I don't need to. I just prefer not to talk about it so much. Uh, so by by saying that he's that. dead, people kind of back off. Yeah, exactly. And like, <laughs> yeah, I think that is a conversation for later, right? Uh, so yeah, yeah. No, well, it's uh, it's nothing. To, it's absolutely nothing to be embarrassed about. Nowadays, more people get divorced than stay married. So you're actually in the majority. I would run around telling everybody, "Hey, I'm single again. Fuck my ex." <laughs> that that would change me so much if someone was like, if I like somebody and they're and they're like. Yeah, my husband died. That would change 100% how I thought about them and who they were and what you know what what my actions would be. 100%. Yeah, you think well, I think it's actually kind of I think don't think you should do that. No, right? It's it's like I probably shouldn't do it. I felt bad about it. Yeah, don't do one, that. One. Was it a That's nasty breakup? I, Is it something that he would get offended about? If he found out that you were saying that? Um, who, my ex-husband? Would he be offended? <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, it was pretty rough. <laughs> oh, he used it right there. I think it's funny. I would keep using it. All right, it. you like it. Okay. Yeah. If a, Well, how old, how old are you? 31. Perfect Young. age for you, Jeff. Yep, exactly. Except she's, you know, she's a liar, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. The plan is I will tell them maybe when I am more comfortable with them, but I think... You know, you meet so many people and like sometimes you just don't want to have the conversation of what happened, you know, because they're going to ask. They're going to say, why are you divorced? Right. And maybe yeah. you don't want to talk about it with someone you just meet. I would go straight out with the joke. Yeah. Avoid that whole conversation and save it for later if it becomes more serious. Yeah. So I say stick to the my husband's dead joke. Ride it out. And then if somebody, you know, somebody's got to get your sense of humor and then you start dating and then eventually you tell him, no, he's not dead. I was joking around. This is what it is. <laughs> if the guy still is interested, he probably still will be. And that's it. You know, I think it's great. I think you got you got a good head on your shoulders. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> All right. Well, um, we wish you the best and uh, 
leave your phone number down in the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing around, but do it. So, uh, that's your boy, for real, for real. All right, it was great talking to you. <laughs> great to see you. Bye. Thank you so much as well. Bye. 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 Anything else we want to get into? Did you want to finish up talking about what we were talking about before? I'm working on the movie now. It's uh, set to shoot in April. I'm excited for it. Uh, it's heavily influenced by mental health. Mm-hmm. I know that's something that you're interested in. Big advocate for mental health. I feel like that's my purpose in life now is spreading awareness even though people are getting sick of it. Is it? Though? So what is, is it? Or are you just saying that? No, I feel like my purpose now, yeah, is is to spread awareness for mental health. Make sure that big tough guys like me know that it's okay to talk about their feelings. Because when I bottled them all up inside, I was in the darkest place in my life. When I was in this house, you saw me. No. What is the movie about? Mental health. Um, <laughs> no, but like, what is it about? Oh. <laughs> Like, um, are you not allowed to say? Oh, I can say. Oh, you can. Yeah, it's about a, a guy who's uh, uh pretty depressed. He's got nothing going on for himself. Uh-huh. Um, he ends up going to a me- like a mental health, uh, like a well-being center, uh, the facility. Yeah. Um, he meets two other guys. Um, one's a uh, like an author. Guy the from other, New York, criminal background, yeah. tough guy. The other, the other one, the other one. Trying to is, write myself uh, into it. Yeah, right. The other one's like a seventy-something-year-old guy, huh. and, and uh, <laughs> one's looking for love, and the other guy is uh, looking is trying to get his book published, but he only has six months left to live. And the last guy is looking for happiness in life. Is it going like, to be Jason? Na- are you going to use com- any Vlog Squad comedy, actors? Right? It's a comedy, yeah. comedy drama. Are you going to use any Vlog Squad yes. people as actors? Uh, no, no. Why would you not put me and Jason in that movie? It sounded like you had a perfect role for him. You said 70-year-old guy that's stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great I'm 48, actor. Jeff. You could age you. We could age you off. Look at what they did to De Niro and the Irishman. That's true. They aged him backwards. I'm sure they could throw a little makeup on you, make you look a little... I think, I think it's important for Jonah to make the movie without any of us in it. I agree. Yeah, like that's probably the smartest thing I've heard mm-hmm. him say. Mm-hmm. Because, because. because he is a good actor and he has a vision... And the movie's going to go further if people, people are going to take it more seriously if it's like real actors in there. Yeah, and if any of you guys are watching this, which I'm, t- I'm sure a ton of you guys are, where you're like, oh yeah, Jonah, you're going to make a movie out of fucking eh, bullshit. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Go check out Jonah's Road to Comedy series on his YouTube channel. It's before <laughs> Road to Comedy is great. It's okay. before he did anything vlog related, social media, and it was some of my favorite stuff he's ever made. That's what made me really want to work with you. I was like, this guy's fucking talented, man. That was, I saw Road to Comedy. I watched it and I turned to David and I go, this is really funny. Yeah. And he goes, no way. And I go, I go, I telling you, this is really, really funny. He goes, I don't believe it. Mm-hmm. He goes, it can't be that good. And I showed it to him and he was like, oh my God, it's really good. Yeah. I, I love seeing you in your element. It's when you're your happiest. Are you going to, are you going to be on time to your own movie? <clears throat> I'm always on time, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waking up at 5.30 every morning. That's not that's not being on time. It doesn't matter. That means I'm, <laughs> Bro, I'm waking you, you up were, sooner than you are. You're up you at were, 5.30. You were, you were an hour late today. I don't know how you can say you're on time. I was 25 minutes late, and that's because I had um, I was on the phone about a project. What project? <laughs> it was about the movie. What's happening with it? <laughs> Nothing. We're just trying to figure out like a schedule and we're trying to find a location for the hospital. I nice. think you have to uh, experience some... I, I don't I don't think you have to do anything, but I think it would be a good help if you did some therapy and did a little more uh, looking into mental health. I don't want to do therapy. I want to shoot it with my fucked up brain I have right now. It's not going to cure you in one session, bro. It's not like you're going to be like, you go talk to a therapist and go, oh, oh, don't fix me too quick. A therapist, not, a therapist won't fix me. I mean, it's not going to, I don't, that don't. Can I ask you an actual genu- genuine question right now? Yeah. Are you like, this is a character or are you being yourself? I don't, I really don't know. I don't, don't look at me. Yeah, he's asking you a question. I, I don't know, know what the question is. <laughs> like, are you being, is this like a character? I don't know if we're, is this like a bit for the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Because I've seen you before, and you're not. You're like you're like quiet right now, and like, oh. are we having, like awkward. Are we having an episode? God forbid, right? ask a genuine question, right? <laughs> you made it all awkward. Sorry, <laughs> Stephen looks dumb right now. <laughs> I look so dumb. Oh my god. Are you doing a bit? No. Is it, okay. What's going on? I, know, I think you you, bro. People are not every day that just want to fucking come in here, just show their dick all the time, and just fuck around. You know, sometimes people grow up. Real life sets in.
Okay. <laughs> Quick question. <laughs> it's actually real shit. What? Um, I'm really, really liking the hair products, but I lost my pomade <laughs> and the spray. Yeah, you could have another. There's a bag have up there, one? right up there. Yeah. Um, reach up up top there. Can you get that? I, I'll get it after. Is Just grab it, it now. Grab it now while I explain the yeah, product. The product's great. So these are these new bags, these new travel cases that I love. Uh, we'll be releasing them for Valentine's Day. It's a secret it's special drop. Yeah, the products are in there. And that will be our combo with the comb. And this whole year we are rolling out our entire line of men's grooming products. And I'm talking, I mean, I, I don't know how much I can reveal here, but... We have some really good stuff coming out, and you will get dibs. I want to test our deodorants on you. You do have a, a, a scent to you. This is top three best hair products I've used. Thank you. And I've used a lot in my hair. Thank you. I used everything. Gorilla Glue. Yeah. Johnny B. Oh, trust me, I've bro. Used. I've been through everything myself, too, my whole life. It's been my whole life. And working in a barbershop, doing people's hair, 15 people a day, I would do their hair. And this is stuff that I made that I wanted to use for myself. I thought you were spraying it in the eyes. Look at that volume instantly. Wow. What's up? You're just being like awkward with it. I, 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 no, I thought it was what funny. I'm not like, yeah, I gotta go. making fun of him. I thought it was funny. You gotta go, Jason? Yeah. Be a right, this is too weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. being so weird. I don't know. It's, so it is. it's just it's like, scary. it's so weird and it's so draining. It's just like, okay, Jonas, I don't know what's going on with you today. You're being so strange. Okay, coming from the fucking ninety-four year old. No, bro, <laughs> Ooh, that, he's bro. Just getting real. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, real. I literally, we were having the best time before you came, <laughs> dude. This is the reason. Is this, this, I don't. Is this character? is why I can't get along with. Je I mean, fuck you, dude. Jeff. I, I'm sorry. Or Jason. Who Jason. are you saying there? I was talking about Jason. I'm sorry. You said Jeff. You said he can't get along with Jeff because he he he, he, he like. The, the, Bro, this he says like, these comments that get under my. Okay. This is like watching Discovery all over again. It's gonna happen. And I don't even watch again. it. Turn on the reality show music. This is like the Beatles. You know, when they're in the studio, you see the documentary on the Beatles on Disney Plus, right. where they're all just raw footage of them creating, making the songs, and then George is like, "Why can't I fucking do my song?" And then Paul's like, "Hey, we just don't need to right now. It's, it's pretty not, good. Not something that we do." <laughs> thank you. Really thank good. you. Thank you. It's really good. So this is we're witnessing it live. The Beatles. <laughs> The big, the big beetle is leaving the band <laughs> to go. <laughs> Paul McCartney and Ringo Candy Bar. <laughs> the big beetle. The big beetle's going to go solo. He's going to make a movie, and I believe in his movie. I, think I it's believe be in his good. movie too. I think it's going to be great. But we are going to kill each other at that roast. It's I'm going to be great. You. Yeah. Roast you think is this is? You think this is tension right here? Wait till that roast night. We're, we're fucking at each other's throat. Somebody's gonna cry. I'm gonna make sure to bury both of you, bro. You got no I'm shot. Bury both. These of are you two guys real jokes. deal comedians, right? You're here. gonna have to find the venue. So I don't even know if you're capable of that. So you're gonna have to be able to walk to the venue. You're <laughs> fucked up. I'm gonna fucking make sure the elevator's out that night, so you can't get upstairs. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure, dude. I'm gonna make sure you're. The elevator's out that night, so you can't. Go <laughs> I already took the elevator out. Okay, so you can't. So get it's good. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, baby, we're gonna roast each other and end our It'll friendship. No, Jeff, can I be honest? Can I be honest? Yeah, I, I really do love Jonah. I sometimes he does these like long bits, and like I, I don't know what to do during the bit, so I probably felt uncomfortable. So I'm sitting here like, what do I say? I'm like. Yeah, no, He's being I know. super I, weird, I, I but know, then maybe it's really funny, and I don't see it, you know. Yeah, and it is funny, but and it's that's, also that's like half your comedy career. What's half comedy comedy career? Maybe it's funny, but I don't see it. All right, guys, I'm happy to be back with my boys. I'm happy to beef up. I'm packing on 20 lbs in three weeks. Wait till you see me next time. You're not gonna recognize me. I'm gonna be so fat and so happy and so stupid. I'm gonna be a new fucking man, and then I'm gonna get that eye surgery. And after that, we're getting fucking ripped again, all of us. And then we're joining the fight game again, Steven. You pumped for that? Get some fucking that. knockouts I'm on the not. street. Mm -mm. All right, that's it. We love you guys. He used to be out on the corner. He was dealing in drugs. He got himself a bar. He gave off some cuts. Now he's a <laughs> You've got eight.